It was affected by dwindling circulation during the pandemic. Of course, people were hard hit in the pocket and they couldn't buy the paper. That's number one. Number two, companies which were supposed to advertise were closed during the shutdown or lockdown, as we prefer to call it, especially the hardware. So there was nobody advertising. And therefore, people would print papers, you know, without, because the, without the revenue that comes from advertising. And that affected some of you. I remember conversations where the tourism sector, for example, was asking for bailouts, among others. And I was asking, why haven't we had anybody from the media sector asking for bailouts? I'm not saying there was a, a pot of money waiting to, to bail you out, but I'm saying it's a conversation that could have taken place. So, the dwindling circulation, dwindling advertisement led to dwindling revenue. So what is you are trying to cope with this? The disruptive technologies took over. So we all said we we're going virtual on everything and in everything. Meetings were happening virtually. Um, conferences were happening virtually. And even news sharing and broadcasting was happening virtually. And the media had to adapt much more, faster than what was happening. Because the attitudes of the consumer also changed. The consumer of our media products has also changed due to normal demographic changes. The consumer of our media products has gone younger and lazy. Lazy, why? Because they are not going to read a big broad sheet like that. They do not have that concentration span. Absolutely not. They prefer microblogs. They prefer small bites of information. They would simply say, get straight to the point. That has affected the way we produce news. If it hasn't affected you, I think you'll be left behind. I'm not saying we should abandon the, analyst, the analytical production of news. No, absolutely not, because there's a market there. But we are simply saying our production of news should be more dynamic. So we have had um, some media houses that have um, adapted nicely. They have done what we call convergence. So they have the traditional media, which works together and in tandem with the new media. So you'll find every media house has got a Twitter account, it's got a Facebook account, it's got a YouTube channel, and so on. Their website also have multimedia uh, interface to it. So therefore, they're capturing a big part of the audience by so doing. But what has not happened, because the biggest conversation I have said is about sustainability. So what has not happened is the monetization of those platforms. How many people are making money from these platforms? Because if you are not making money, you may just call you unemployed. Yeah, you may be giving us great content and you informing the nation, giving great access to information. But if you are not making money, there's a problem. And what does the president say? Make money. <laughs> So make money. 